Except that's his name. Yo, Jeff! Is hip hop's first dating coach, having missed his high school prom because of not having a date. His first relationship only lasted four hours. Yo, Jeff, that's sad. Yo, Jeff overcame that to become a good dater. Now he helps other people avoid STDs and heartbreak by dating. Chuck D called him a relationship guru, represented by RBG Promotions in booth 408. Give it up for Yo, Jeff. As you know, my name is Yo Jeff, I'm a hip hop dating coach. How y'all doing? My workshop is called Stop the Game. So for all of the single people out there, I need your cooperation. We play a little game in the beginning just to get your minds ready. So everybody stand up. I play a game called Yo Jeff Says. It's like Simon Says, but I'm not Simon. So it's Yo Jeff Says. So for all the single people out there that don't have wedding rings on their fingers, do me a favor. First thing Yo Jeff says is put your hands over what God gave you to listen to people's problems with. Let me see if you win. All right, that's good. Yo Jeff says put your hand over what God gave you to share your ideas and your concerns with. All right, y'all, you're running real good, tight. Okay. Yo Jeff says put your hand over your love muscle. Oh, that's a little switch, okay. All of y'all got it on the reproductive organ, sit down. All of y'all got it down here, sit down. All, all my ladies, all my fellas got it over your heart, y'all sit down. Anybody still standing and got it on your head, in your mind, that's where love comes from. That's what tells you what you love and you feel good and you feel pain. My workshop, my workshop goals are to challenge your purpose for dating, teach you how to avoid the dating predators out there, and also teach you how to date. Um, I challenge your purpose for dating because many of us date because it's fun. Uh, other people do it um, for sex. You know, I mean, out there dating for sex. But I say the safest place to have sex is within a relationship, so that's one of the reasons. I teach you to watch out for the dating predators. Not this kind of alien predator, you know, and I even keep you away from these guys here, Rihanna and Chris Brown. I don't want to hook you up with either one of those as well. But I say the dating predators that you do have to look out for are these guys that want to have multiple girlfriends. We call them players, you know. They tell you you're the best one, you're the only one, and that you, you are theirs. And then you also have these other people, be it male or female, that are pimp-up artists. They just want to sneak with you. They want to get a notch on their belt. They tell you you're the beautifulest young lady they've ever met, just like their mother. And then after they sleep with you, they have a wrong number. They don't even call you anymore. Or these girls, they talk to you, and they want to get you to give them some money to go to the mall. Or they, you buy them a drink, and you can't even talk to them afterwards. You get the drink, she goes dance with somebody else. So I watch those people because those are the people that hurt your feelings. I also teach you how to date. Okay, in my workshop, I teach you how to date, how to um, get what you want from dating, how to find someone to date, and also to be a good dater yourself. Okay, because we don't know how to date. When I was growing up, I was young, and I had to teach myself how to date. My parents were practically in arranged marriage, and I'm the only child, so I'm the oldest and the youngest in my family. So I had to teach. But this is who I am. This is your Jeff. I taught myself how to use dating, and I found my wife. Been married since 2001. All right. <laughs> Any of my girlfriends, you know, you can go and Google it. There ain't no rumors out there about me being a, a notorious cheater, okay? And I didn't catch any um, STDs. So this is my family. This is, my, this is the reason why I do what I do and why I think I'm good at doing this for you guys. Um, I use hip-hop because hip-hop is an organic American culture. It came straight out of the Bronx in 1972. It's a mixture of Puerto Rican, Caribbean, African American, and European American cultures. All of us get down from Eminem to whoever, you know, Karis, one, Chuck D, you name it. Everybody gets down. I say um, hip hop because we live in the Obama world, okay? We have MTV, we got BET, and people are dating outside of their culture and outside of their religion. I have no problems with that. My wife is Dominican, I'm African American. What I say, if you do want to date within your religion, that's fine. If you're Christian, you listen to your, you know, if you're Jewish, you listen to your rabbi, okay? If you're Muslim, you listen to your imam. If you're a Christian, you listen to your pastor. And if you have a culture that does arranged marriages, fine. Then listen to your family. But if you have the urge to date outside of your culture, then what do you do? You have no guidelines. The purpose for dating is clear. I mean, it's cloudy. So what do you do? How do you date? What is dating? 
You know, we all know what I'm talking about, but what is dating? Okay, well, this is how I define dating. Dating is a process used to find a life partner. Simple. Everything else is a misuse of it in my way. I used dating, I had a bunch of different girlfriends, and I found one that eventually I put a ring on her finger, and she accepted, and we said exchange vows. But we, we watch TV, and they have a whole bunch of little comedian shows out there, and this is one of the, the, the first ones that was out there, Flavor of Love. Any of y'all ever watched Flavor of Love, where any of the descendants, you know, Real Chance of Love, Tequila of Love, Rock of Love, you know, Real Chance, all that stuff. But we laugh at it. We think Flavor Flav is a joke, you know what I'm saying? Flavor Flav is a big joke. But these are the things that Flavor does that we don't even do in our relationship. When we date, what do we do? You know, Flavor Flav, he meets the other person's ex-girlfriend or ex-boyfriend and finds out if that was true or why they broke up, what kind of person it is that you're dating. You're just taking whoever you're dating's word for it. I never cheated. She was wrong. She did all this to me. You believe in Chris Brown when Rihanna might have done something, okay? He also introduced his parents to them and met them. What do we do in our dating activities? We go to um, dinner, we go to a movie, in the dorm room, we have a, a, a little snack, and then a little DVD, and then a little hanky-panky. You know, and, and, and by the time, in our dating process, we really don't know the person. We barely know their political party or their religious affiliation, and we dated them all the way up till Thanksgiving, and we don't know anything about them. So what do I do? I came up with the Yo Jeff method. Okay, this is what I call the pre prenuptial agreement. It's Jeff's, no Jeff's dating contract. And in my workshop, we review it. These are some of the terms of my contract. And these are the things that we don't get clear, you know, sexual exclusivity. You having sex with only me. That's bottom line. Also, you're going to listen to my problems. I'm going to share my problems with you. We're going to get to know each other. But these are some of the things that we miss. My wife is my best friend. When I get in the car, she's the passenger seat. She was there from the time she was my girlfriend. If I'm going to the beach, because I live down in Miami, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying? There ain't a bunch of fellas that sit in there and I tell my wife goodbye. My wife is my best friend. She's, that's her seat. It's not passenger seat anymore. It's wife's seat, okay? So, you know, now in the world of dating, it's a lot of fun, you know? We, um, you will enjoy it, but will you like everybody that likes you? Well, everybody that you like, like you, you know? And then we have these other problems with these data predators called the game. So I ask y'all to cooperate with me one more time. Finish this sentence real loud. All men are kings. Yeah. Okay. I didn't hear nice guys. I didn't hear fathers. And we all say, you know, things that are similar to dogs, okay? In, in my hip hop culture, we say dogs a lot. But that's because we've been conditioned to have a lot of negative examples. We got congressmen flying to South America, we got presidents doing it in the Oval Office and betraying the vows and they messed it all up so bad that guys don't even think they're worthy to get married. So what do we do? Well, we understand that these are the things that I call the game. And the game is where somebody uses lies and deceits or trickery to get what they want from a relationship without giving some person, the person that they're dating, an equal re return in that. So that you might like them, but they may not like you. They may like the car you're riding in, they may like whatever, they may just like your body. She got a big booty, and I'm dating the booty. You understand? So we like to you know, teach you how to deal with that. So to deal with that, I, I came up with a list called the player hater list. How to use dating to avoid the game. Three of the things on that list is one, make your relationship public. Of course, the thing one, thing two t-shirts. But I say publicize it because I'm against the down low. Anytime you have the down low, you, you're messing up. And then two, the player hater list. Get to know your partner's daily activities. And then three, know how to break up. Now, I go quick, but um, my workshop is an hour and a half, and I'd like to tell you all more about it. But please come to my booth. I'm at booth 408. <coughs> my name is Yo Jeff, and I want to make sure you all have the best experience and use dating to find a happy matrimony that I've been able to find. Thank you very much.